in the previous video we worked out the um, the position vector of a particle or a cannonball so each step of the way we always know the position vector of the cannonball so in this video we are going to um, to append the velocity vector so let's say our cannonball is currently here we will append the velocity vector and then we will append the um, acceleration vector which will be this vector here to our cannonball okay so so let's try and do that so um, in the previous video we've we we uh, we managed to work out the location of the particle anywhere along its path so now we need to append the um, velocity vector so looking at the velocity vector looking at the velocity vector we will need to combine the two so combining the two the velocity vector hang on the, the velocity vector is given by uh, looking at the x component it will be uh, it would be b cos uh, hang on, b b cos c b cos c that's the uh, x component and the y component would be b sine c take away gt b sine c take away g t so you, so in your mind the velocity vector is floating randomly in uh, in space so the velocity vector looks like this um, that's that's the velocity vector it floats randomly in space but then looking at our current particle or our current cannonball is currently here but then we need to append this um, this velocity vector to our cannonball so we need to move it over to here so this will be our velocity vector so let's append that so jumping back to um, to um, to our decimals so add a table add a table add add table and then uh, hang on and then uh, punch in your current location of the particle so the current location is this thing here the x component so let me copy and let me paste and then uh, copy and paste the y location of the of the cannonball copy and paste and then we want to append our, our velocity vector now so for the second cell um, let me copy the current location current location paste and then plus our x component of the velocity vector so plus hang on so plus plus what was our velocity vector the, velo the x component of the velocity vector is b cos c so jumping back to here plus b cos c uh, so now the uh, the y component of the velocity vector but we need to punch in our current location so copy and paste copy and paste and then we need to append the um, the y component of the velocity vector which will be b sine b sine c take away gt so b sine c hang on so it's plus b sine c and then take away g a t which in our case would be a so now uh, let's turn this into a line so click on this for two seconds and then go to lines and then that that will represent our our velocity our velocity vector so as we move it along well as we move the particle along that will represent our velocity vector so now for the um, acceleration vector so going back to here acceleration vector would be acceleration vector would be the combination of these two zero and then minus g so the velocity vector uh, the acceleration vector acceleration vector would be um, zero minus g so jumping out jumping back to desmos add a new table so add table 
uh, current location well the current location is right here so copy and hang on let me move this up so the current location would be would be this thing here so let me copy and let me paste and the Y location is this let me copy and let me paste okay that's the current Y lo that's that's the current location of the uh, particle so now for the um, for the um, uh, acceleration vector so it would be current location and then uh, plus zero because um, because the x component of the acceleration vector is zero it's just straight down and then uh, and then the current location copy copy and paste and then uh, take away g take away g take away g so that would be our our acceleration vector double click on this for two seconds double click on this for two seconds and then it's this and then uh, yeah so you can see that's our acceleration vector so now if we slide um, if we slide a so as the as the cannibal is being fired the acceleration is always acting straight down and you can see the velocity vector changing and getting faster and slower as time goes on okay